Hey guys, it's Ollie from Flight Comp again, and I'm going to try to do sort of a short repair video or maybe a few videos on uh, repairing a solid core wing. This is an Ultima center panel, and it's had a midair, and it's taken a substantial amount of damage. The main damage was right here, as you can see. Uh, this is where I hit the other model and it took out a big chunk of the leading edge and what I've done is just cut it cleanly and I put a piece of um, foam in here and um, sanded it to shape. This happens to be Roacel but you could use you know a blue, blue foam or pink foam or something like that too. Um, I just happen to have a scrap of Roacel so I used that. Um, now besides just this impact damage here, this the the damage, although the, the the collision was fairly minor, the damage sort of radiated out a little bit across the wing. And that tends to happen with um solid core wings, especially the really light layups. So it's got some things on it, like I don't I don't know if you can see this, but it's got some areas of DLAM. There's there's a spot right here hard to see but there's some raised spots um, where some of the carbon got delammed and um, mostly on this side of the wing um, there's some damage here just where the, the skin cracked up a little bit um, and then it's got a big leading edge delam that goes to about here so I gotta try to fix that too and maybe on the bottom we can see, you can kind of see here, these are actually bubbles or, or D-lambs. You can see these lines going across. And um, here's another one here. And it's got this kind of damage on a few spots. So what I thought I would do is try to actually re-bag the wing. So, or not re-bag it because it wasn't bagged. I mean, it was made in, it was made in a compression mold, but I'm going to try to use a vacuum bag to um, get rid of some of this damage and my idea was to um, like here's some DLAM here my idea was to try to inject some epoxy into these DLAMs and then bag the wing and hopefully the resin will kind of spread out and get that skin stuck back to the foam and with the bigger damage here that the chunk of foam I am going to use some spread toe you can use you know other kinds of carbon or fiberglass or whatever you happen to have I, I have some spread toe scraps so I'm gonna use some spread toe on here and a few other spots like right here and I'm gonna try to actually you know put the the carbon on and wet it out soak up excess resin and then I'm gonna try to tape um, these mylars to the wing and then put the whole center panel back in the bag and see if I can't get a fairly decent finish and really good adhesion and compression on this area here with, with uh, mylars and a vacuum bag. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. Um, hopefully it'll come out good. This is the first time I've attempted this kind of repair. Okay, so I've done some more work to this repair that I'm doing. Um, I've put some pieces of spread toe over this damaged area here. And I tried to cut it as neatly as possible. And this has been saturated with epoxy. I have another little patch here. And I've also gone along and injected with a syringe some um, thinned out epoxy under the skin in areas that experience some uh, delamination. Um, you can see here the leading edge is still open but I've also squirted in and injected epoxy along that area and as far back under the skin as I could get. Um, I put a little bit of carbon or graphite powder in the epoxy to just darken it up and make it black. Hopefully that'll help um, the appearance of, of the repair. So yeah, I got some epoxy injected here. A little bit in this area and a few other places and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, put a paper towel over this and try to soak up as much of the 
excess epoxy as I can. And then I'm going to um, prep these little pieces of mylar. I'm going to put some wax on them. And then I'll prep the, um, the vacuum bag and, and get this in the bag. And then I'll get back to you. Okay, I think I got uh, most of the prep done. Um, got the mylars taped in place where I need them. I've soaked up excess resin. I've put pieces of um, just normal plastic over the areas that I injected epoxy so um, the vacuum bag won't stick. And I've also covered up some of the hard points with uh, foam. And the idea there is not to uh, puncture the bag when we um, put this center panel in the vacuum bag. So now the next step is just to prep the bag and slide the center panel in and pull the vacuum. All right, well, I put this thing in the bag and I've um, sucked all the air out of it and sort of worried about the servo pockets as it deformed more than I'd hoped. Definitely uh, squished down the skin here, and on the bottom, it uh, pulled in the servo covers. Might have done some damage there, I don't know. Um, but it's too late now, so I'm just going to let this uh, sit in the bag overnight, and then we'll see what we get uh, when we pull it out after it cures for a while. Okay, I've pulled the Ultima center panel out of the vacuum bag, and actually I'm very pleased with the results. Um, it worked pretty well. There are a few things I would have done differently, so there's some things that I learned. But generally, it worked um, just as I'd hoped it would. Um, you can see here's the major repair area, and it's got a very nice finish on it. It's, it's pretty smooth. It blends into the wing nicely. There's another spot here, same thing, it's smooth and it blends in pretty nicely. There's a little bit of finish work to be done. There's some ridges where there's some epoxy seeped up. There's some ridges here that I'll have to sand down a little bit. You can see here, um, this, this leading edge is gonna need a, a little bit of finish work. Um, where the leading edge separated, it closed up pretty nicely. There's a ridge of epoxy there that needs to be sanded down. But overall, I have to say I'm very happy with the results. Here's the bottom. Um, there are a few areas that are a little dented up, and I think that's just because the foam underneath was um, crushed, you know, crushed a little bit. So basically, when I bagged it, it just took the contour of the crushed foam. And there's an area here on the center panel. It's got, uh, hard to see, but there's a little bit of a dent here, and again, I think this wing took like a, a impact force like this, and I think some of the rosal got crushed here, and that's why there's that dent. In other areas where there was just slight delamination and no damage to the foam, um, there was a big one here. Um, the, the carbon laid down again really nicely. So this is a, a really good way of repairing your solid core model. Learned a lot doing this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some finish work, trim up some things, and then I'll uh, show you guys the results and wrap this video up. Well, I finished up the repair on this Ultima center panel, and all in all, it came out really good. Uh, I did the finish work here. I've um, sanded down all the areas on the leading edge that were a bit rough. I've smoothed and sort of polished this repair here came out really nice and we have this area here which has a little bit of carbon on it did some smoothing and sanding there with some um, wet dry sandpaper and the bottom same thing there's still some little deformations and stuff but you know in general this center panel is is usable again and will be put back into action um, here's another shot of these dents here where the foam was crushed and the impact. And the, um, the repair is actually really solid where I put the, uh, where I injected the resin underneath. So this is, this feels really solid. 
So it's just a minor cosmetic thing. So yeah, I'm very happy with this, with the vacuum bagging technique to repair a solid a core uh, panel. Um, I think if I did it again, I'd, I'd be able to do it a little bit better, and I definitely learned a few things. If I was to do this again, I would take off the servo covers and remove the servos. If I couldn't remove the servos, I'd leave them in, and then I'd fill all the gaps around the servo with just chunks of foam. And if I was able to get the servo completely out, I'd put, you know, just like a big block of foam in here just to get rid of that air pocket when you when I bagged it so it wouldn't um, collapse. And the other thing I would do is I would put maybe some sticks of balsa or some wedge-shaped pieces of balsa or foam a relief, you know, on the flap here, this channel. Uh, again, to keep the um, bag from trying to squeeze down in there when you when you pull vacuum. And then I would have probably maybe taped some balsa sticks along the center part of the flap and the flap here just to keep everything straight and in line. Um, basically, the, the, the bag tried to suck into all the recesses it could find, so it tried to suck into this channel here and it tried to um, push down into the servo pockets so it was really squeezing down on, on the servo bays and I got some very small deformation on the servo bay here it actually could have been there before I really don't know but I think by putting foam in the servo bay or around the uh, servo I would have avoided any of those uh, risks but yeah, very happy with this. Um, it's a pretty easy way of repairing a solid core um, panel. So if you have a broken center panel or a wingtip or a F3K DLG wing, um, you know, you could give this a shot. It really eliminates a lot of the handwork um, trying to sand um, carbon smooth and everything and try to get a nice finish. And also it really helps with the delammed areas because injecting the epoxy under the skin is pretty easy as long as you have some nice syringes. And um, the bag, the vacuum bag really sucks the skin back down and spreads that resin out into the damaged areas of the delam. Oh, one other thing I, I probably would do differently also is instead of just putting the sheets of plastic on the delammed areas, I might next time actually cut big pieces of mylar, you know, that, so, so it's a fairly rigid plastic, it's bendy, but I think it would provide a more uniform, um, even surface, and it wouldn't let the carbon kind of push down into some of these um, crushed areas, so it might provide a better finish. So using the mylar instead of just sheets of plastic on some of the bigger delam areas might also be a good idea. Okay, that's it. That's a repair on a Ultima uh, center panel, and I hope you guys uh, found this video helpful if you have a repair to do, and I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.